today, right now, we all in this room, and all, all Corbin's faculties and students, all Salem and entire for the United States, we are feeling comfortable and feeling policy and you're sleeping well and having a good meal with our complete family. But on the other side of the world, they are facing the opposite way. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about, a little bit about Indonesia. The Constitution of Indonesia started since 1945 in order to make Indonesia unite and call Indonesia Serbia. Such as the first part of conclusions of Indonesia was written. Maka penjajahan di atas dunia harus dihapuskan karena tidak sesuai dengan pri kemanusiaan dan pri keadilan. Uh, which means that whereas independent is the ineligible right for all nations, therefore all colonies must be abolished in this world, as it is not in conformity with humanity and justice. And then the next sentence was written, and the moment of rejoice have arrived in the gate of struggle, uh, the gate of of the independent Indonesia independence movement to guide the people safely and well to the gate of independence in the state of Indonesia which so be independent, united, sovereign, sovereign, just, and prosperous. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you this is the lie. I am I'm an Indonesian, especially from Papua. Sometimes I hate go on the internet, <coughs> Facebook, and some other social media. Almost every time I go, I see I see a, a lot of people always suffering while crying for help. <coughs> Indonesian government acts is very different than the Constitution was written. As I see in the article, the media and newspapers are different than the Constitution that we have in Indonesia. According to Yunus Wanda, an Indonesian government's official, Indonesia treat Papua as stepchild. In the modern years, the Indonesian put, the Indonesian government has brutality put, brutality put Papua genocide such as these pictures. In here's was written, Hentikan Keteratan di Papua, which means stop the violence in, this, in, in Papua. There is no right for indigenous people of Papua. They are legal with their bad reputation, uh, bad reputation, and more than 5,000 indigenous people in the province of Papua and West Papua were killed by governments of Indonesia. Yeah, in the last few years, yeah, they were killed by governments of Indonesia, as well as myself in right here with you. But I'm still under the pressure I'm still under the pressure. And the Indonesian government still spying on me and to my friends as well. Therefore, we can speak up for our, our right to determine a better future. In Papua, right now, is the same situation as the United States was in 18 and 19 centuries. Inequality between black and white, then call the black color, lazy, and force them to slave, and etc. These are the sound pictures. <coughs> Let me read this quote by uh, Loe Evan Buscalia. It's not enough to have like, life we should be determined to live for something. May I suggest that it is 
It's be creating joy for others, sharing what we have for betterment of person kind. Bring hope to the lost and love the lovely. <clears throat> because of that, Indonesian government put too much pressure on my people or indigenous people of Papua. They are still walking under the pressure, such as we still here. <clears throat> under the pressure. Therefore, I ask my Christian scholar friends to be part of the solutions by becoming their eyes, tongues, arms, and legs. <clears throat> to support their right or help them cry for their freedom in order to determine their future. As Jesus says in Mark 12 and 31, 12 verse 31, love your neighbor and yourself. I believe this is the time as a Christian must take actions and help upwards in order to create peace and love. Let the pressure go, let the barrier walk away, let the bad stereotype to the end, and let ending the genocide. <clears throat> we all collectively, as a Christian, we must separate them from Indonesia to be a separate country by voicing our voice to U-L-M-W-E, that's what you do. 